All right, so acid-base reactions of terminal alkynes. Right. <clears throat> so what's important about terminal alkynes? Right? So you have three carbons right here, and this double triple bond is between the two carbons, right? And don't forget that there's a hydrogen on this carbon right here. Okay, and that hydrogen attached to an sp carbon. Yeah. A triple bonded carbon is sp carbon, right? An sp carbon, due to the hybridization effect, is acetic hydrogen. So that is a acetic hydrogen. So what I'm trying to say here is if I throw a base, right? If I throw a base, the base can go ahead and pick up a hydrogen. Right? So if I throw a base here, B minus, then it can go ahead and pick up the hydrogen, right? And that can give the electron pair back on this carbon. So this is your B minus and HA. So that is your base and that's your asset. So in this case, what you'll get, you will get your conjugate acid and conjugate base as your product. Right? So you have those two carbons right there. Right? And that carbon right there will become negative. Right? So that's your product. Okay? And then you have HB as your conjugate acid, but we don't want to write it in this case because we're only writing the product that has carbon in it. Right? So that will become negative. Now, the, the importance of this is when you have the carbon with a negative charge, that becomes your nucleophile. So that is your, that serves as a nucleophile. Okay, that means if I throw a CH3, uh, so that's ready to do the substitution reactions. We can do a substitution reaction with this. So that is served as a nucleophile. All right, such as let's say if I throw a CH3BR here, right? So if I throw a CH3BR, then that can do a substitution, they will can leave, and that will get you the product. So that will be so that should be your product. Okay, so again, the significance of a terminal alkyne is that you have a hydrogen on that carbon, and that hydrogen is acidic due to the hybridization effect. Okay. Acidic means if I throw a base, that base will go and pick up that hydrogen. Okay? So in this case, you cannot throw any base. It has to be a strong base. Okay? The strong base, we're looking at either NaNH2, NaOET, or NaOH. But you need to have a strong base here. So if I throw a strong base, then that can go ahead and pick up this hydrogen right there. And that will leave that negative charge back on the carbon, and that will make it a nucleophile. That's not a base, it's a nucleophile. Nucleophile means it will go either SN1 or SN2. It depends on what you have. So this is your metal, that will be SN2. All right, so that's the importance of a terminal alkyne, okay? Because that hydrogen there, that makes a, makes an acid base reaction, all right? So next reaction in this chapter is <clears throat> All right, so this is reduction reactions. So reduction of all kinds. Right. <clears throat> so exact same thing what we did in case of a double bond, right? So if you have a double bond, let's say, uh, if I have a double bond, I want to re reduce our double bond into a single bond, right? So I need two hydrogens. So this is C4. 6, 7, 8, H8, and this is 5 plus 5, so C4, H10. All right, so if I add two hydrogens, okay, that's the only difference here, so you have eight hydrogens and 10 hydrogens. So if I add two hydrogens from going from here to here, then 
and that a two hardens coming from either you use H2 with nickel or H2 with platinum or palladium. Okay, so just need a metal here. Okay, that will be a catalyst. So you need two hardens H2. Okay, so that basically your hardened gas for H2 gas. So if you pass the H2 gas through your reaction with the palladium or platinum or nickel as a catalyst, then so it's R. So you can use any of these two. All right? And that would reduce your doubling to a single bond. Okay? And same is true for a triple bond. So if you have a triple bond, right? so that's your carbon carbon triple bond. Right? And if I throw H2 with palladium, okay, or nickel, it doesn't matter. Then that will change your triple to double and double to single. So indirectly, what you will get that will be your double bond. Okay, so that will get you double bond, and the double will change to your single bond. So it's a sequential process. Okay, your triple will change to double, and double will change to single bond. So that's your final product. All right. <clears throat> So that's when you use the hardened with palladium. So this is your hardened gas. Right. Now the question is, now in this case, I cannot stop the reaction in double bond. It has to go all the way to the single bond. Okay. It will go through double bond and the double will automatically change to single, reduce to single. All right. What if I wanna stop the reaction at double bond? Okay. I don't want this, I want this as a product. Then you have to follow a different strategy here. And that will look like this. So let's say if I want a double bond, okay, or an alkene from alkyne. Right? So if I have, let's say, a triple bond, right? So that's, so I have a triple bond. And I want <clears throat> an alkene from here, right? So you have four carbons, right? If alkene, alkene can be like this, which is which is trans, or alkene can be like this, which is sex. So these are the two groups you're looking at. Right, so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it can be cis or it can be trans, right? So we have a method that can convert your triple bond into a trans double bond specifically, only one part, and that is if you use sodium with liquid ammonia, or you can use lithium with a liquid ammonia. So if you use sodium with liquid ammonia, and H3 is ammonia, that will get you your double bond. Okay, that will reduce your triple into a double, but that is trans double bond, okay? And if you use H2, PD, BSO4, okay? And that is also called as Lillard catalyst. So Lillard's, Catalyst that would change your triple bond into a double bond, but it's a cis double bond. Okay, so you can change accordingly. If you're trans, you have to use this. If you want cis, then you use Lindner catalyst. Okay, so it's a very important reaction. It's a very important reaction. So make sure you keep this in mind. All right. So when you have a triple bond into a double bond or triple bond into a single bond or a trans double bond, how can I selectively change it? 